Hey guys, so it's International Earthlings Experience Day today and Bath Animal Rights are going to be doing one in town in Bath. I think there's quite a lot of us coming, I think there's going to be about 10 to 15 people so I'm really excited and I'll see you guys again in a bit when I'm down there. <laughs> So it's going really well so far, we've had about 50 to 100 people already stop and watch. Um, it's really busy and it's a beautiful day so there's loads of people that are just milling around and open to having a chat with us. We've already met quite a few veggies and vegans which is amazing um, and yeah it's, it's going really really well. So what do you think about our demonstration today? Uh, well it's, it's, um, it's almost artistic in that um, people are silent which is really a clever thing to do and yet you've got some good graphics and the use of masks and you and it's uh, intriguing for passers-by so you draw them in by being intriguing my daughter's really keen on uh, the welfare of animals um, I'm, and I support that too um, and I think it's really important what you eat in the sense that Processed foods, I do not think, are as healthy for you as fresh foods. So the way things are farmed, reared, and grown uh, does have a a big, a good importance, a big importance for people's well-being, well-being and health. It's good that you're making people aware of what's going on around us every minute of the day. Yeah. Unfortunately, they get away with this stuff. So have you ever seen anything like this before? I've seen it on like uh, documentary programs. Yeah. Not too graphic. But some of them will say graphic turn your head now. What do you think about the ethical um, point of view of it? Um, I'm afraid that um, if there's money in it then unfortunately from a cynical perspective then people would try and do whatever they can to make as much money as they can. So. Um, a capitalist approach um, is about profit and loss and moral and ethical considerations are optional add-ons. They are not part of the philosophy. Uh, and how do you feel when you watch it? Oh yeah, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. And the bad thing is I do like banking. It's a shame too. When you're going down the street, you see all the cattle being moved. It's a slaughterhouse. And the pigs and uh, all the animals. And they're shifting around, can't even move. Yeah. Yet they're going to their deathbed. Yeah. On top of being tortured to be deaf. But in terms of like the whole money making of it, the only way to stop this kind of treatment happening to animals is to stop paying for it. So if we stop funding it and we stop giving it money and stop buying it, yeah. then its demand's going to decrease and the less of it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean that's um, about public, the strength of the public of what they want. So you need to educate the public. Yeah. So what you're doing is political because you are challenging um, you're challenging the the status quo. Uh, you know, even with food labelling, quite often that's very misleading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that what you're doing is a very positive um, and peaceful protest. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I know, but <clears throat> man superior in the animal ain't. But at the end of the day. Do you think that animals still feel pain the same way that we do? Well, I, I think if you're going to like not torture them, if it's a death straight away, it ain't so bad. But what, what methods do you think would be? Well, I know I've seen it where they do a bullet right in the head straight away to kills the nerve system. So at least if they get killed that way, they're not going to feel any pain. Yeah. Then I don't know. I didn't have it done to me. Some animals are mistreated, you know, but 
it's always been that way, so it's no big thing. Oh, with that's me. really sad. <laughs> it's, yeah, it always is. It's been that way, so huh? it's okay. And it's not going to change either. Humans are humans, animals are animals as well. Look at it. So you think animals, you don't think that humans are animals? No, we're above animals. We have a brain, we think. Animals have brains? You no, know, that's instinct. They just, you know, it's a little different. Okay. We have souls, they don't. I thank you very much for doing, providing this to wake up the people because they just eat and eat meat. I am vegetarian since 40 years and I am a Muslim and I really, really provide my information to the Islamic people that they have to stop to slaughter this poor creation of our one God. They are doing nothing to us. We don't need so much protein. If they do it, they shall kill one chicken once a month, do it themselves, give them good healthy grown food, but not in mass production. And we need to look after our animal and also nurture them in these uh, countries. We need to be responsible because they, our brothers and sisters, a step under us. So, um, what do you think about this performance today? Do you think it's good that we're showing I think it's really good because this is really, really disturbing, seeing these images and seeing what actually goes on. It's, um, it's important to spread awareness. I think it's really sick, actually, seeing all this happen. Have you seen any, anything like this before? I have seen some stuff like this back home in America, but um, it's really disturbing when you see how cruel they treat them right before they actually slaughter them. It's, it's really sad. Yeah, I think a lot of people say as long as you slaughter them in a humane way, then you know it's okay to eat animals. But when you actually see the way that they're being slaughtered, you realise that you can't really do that in a humane way. Yeah, if like if they made uh, what was it? What was Paul McCartney said? If you put uh, made slaughterhouses glass, yeah, give them glass walls, then uh, everyone would go vegan. Makes sense when you actually see that because that's disgusting. That's horrible. Do you eat animal products? Uh, I I do, but that just really makes me feel bad about doing it. I actually, um, I'm going to definitely look into the vegan. <laughs> definitely. Oh yeah, I definitely want to look into more of these recipes too. You know, just to help with my conscience, but because I love animals, but that's that's heartbreaking. Um, Earthlings experience and it went really really well uh, it's really lovely and sunny and loads and loads of people stopped and spoke to us we got a few interviews didn't we? and one guy um, was really interested in it and actually said that he was gonna go vegan so that was really cool he went away watching Gary Rofsky's speech um, and he took loads of recipe books and everything as well. He was very shocked. So. Yeah, every single time we've done this, more and more people have come, so more and more people have got involved. And even just standing out here, like people come up and say, like, how can I get involved with something like that? So yeah, this one's been really, really awesome. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Ellie already, you should check out her channel, Alan is, no, <laughs> Ellie the Earthling. And if you're on Ellie's channel, then come over to me. Yeah. Asia Pondus. <laughs> And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up so we can spread it around more, more people can see it and everything like that. So thank you again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.